easy. Easy, easy, easy. That is a pewter solo of the Rourke Orberg Gym. Protects itself from recoil damage. Let's go. That's awesome. That's so good. This guy is a, a, is a dude. All right. Time to take on a big bad Perugly. The man, the myth, the legend. Okay. Hey, cheese man, how's it going? Do I have to talk to her? No, there we go. I am one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait. That's just one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have l shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. First big bad. Level 17, Prugly is her ace. Okay. So, we're just gonna rock throw. Did you know Perugly is faster than Latios and Latios? That's actually a bit crazy, but... <laughs> I mean, I guess I believe it. Of course. That's gonna complicate things. I just need to get a screech down. That's really all I need to do. Come on. Thank you. Freaking toxic, man. No kidding. This thing has fake out, scratch, and faint attack. So this is going to fake us out. No surprise. Okay, I think we should be able to take one more. So we're going to get one screech down. Nice. Nice. Unfortunately, I think we have to switch now because that Toxic is getting real spooky. Yeah, I think we die next. Oh, wait! Barry! Uh, I think we still switch. <laughs> um, I think we switch to... Let's see, Dark? What is it? Dark is not good against fighting, right? Because that's what he used. Dark is not good against fighting. Dark and Steel. Okay, so I think we switch into Cadet on this one. Nice. Now we karate chop. Okay, how much does this do? Six versus... Uh, six versus 15. Nice! Okay. So what did that first one do? I said six. It was at 46. That second one did 15. So I think we survive... A crit. I am gone. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I think we switched to pewter. I like the name scheme. It's pretty fun so far. I've liked it. Um, I think we just switched to pewter, tank this hit, and then we just magnitude, because magnitude's 100% accurate, right? Yeah. And this will almost certainly kill. So I think we just play it safe, switch to pewter. We always play it safe when we can. This should do like almost nothing. Four damage. Get wrecked. Magnitude. Hater? Huh? Oh, magnitude seven. Okay, I see. Got him. That is Mars down. Hello, headphones. Can you adjust? I'm dead? I'm not dead. We're good. We're fine. We won. We got her. Take that, Mars. Oops, I messed that one up. <laughs> Magnitude gamble? Nah, we were safe. 100% of the time. Uh, uh, what's the phrase? Something percent of the time? It works every time. Okay, so this is what we got to do. 
we have to um, game clock system settings put this down here so I can see it put this here put this here so we have to set the game clock to next week which is the 24th set okay bonk now we should be able to see the drift loon there it is okay this is a potential e4 encounter I'm just letting you all know so this is a big deal we Get the get the clip for the thumbnail. There you go. Look at that. Love. Ooh, why is it head? It looks like its head is caved in. There you go. That's the thumbnail. Save, because for some reason I feel like saving eight million times. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, I'm just kidding. We're leading with Piplup, right? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Faloon. This is our Valley Windworks encounter. Sun and Moon are harder. Isn't Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon probably harder because of that Ultra Necrozma battle? Isn't that a thing? Okay, don't do a lot of damage. Nice Quick Claw. That did not a lot of damage. Good lord. I'm gonna have to be careful of that. Come on. Let's see how much this does. 10. Okay. So we got 20 on a crit. That's just seven. Annoying. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to start throwing balls at this thing here pretty soon. Nice. I love that bubble is hitting through these minimizes. Let's go. Uh, I'm just gonna try using, I only have one great ball. Ooh boy, maybe I should have gotten more balls. That was a mistake. Come on. One, two, three, got her! <sighs> okay, potential E4-mon. But before that, nickname the Drift Loon. Reminder, it is pinned in the chat. Nickname theme is colors. What color does Drift Loon remind you of? I'm gonna go with violet. One to Shadow's thing, Cadium. Cadmium Violet, I don't think fits. Uh, so we're just gonna go with Violet, one, because it's a female Drifloon. Two, it's purple. I like Violet, Violet's cute. Welcome to the team. I'm gonna make sure I spelled Violet correctly. <laughs> Violet, yes, purple, let's go. Welcome to the team, Violet. Good nickname, Clarence. All right, let's check out Violet. Serious, what's that? Plus, or it's a neutral nature, okay. No, 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 okay. We want to see Unburden. Unburden! <gasps> Let's go. Let's go! That is what you want to see. Okay, so the reason Unburden is so good is basically if it uses its held item, like eats a berry, um, I think it doubles its speed stat. Is that correct? Speed stat is doubled once held item is consumed. Yeah, that is bananas. Yes, congrats on the get a get a nickname in on vacation. But this thing, whew, this is a this is a good one. This is a real good one, guys. So here's the question. Here's what I got. Here's what I'm musing about. Route 205 has a couple potential encounters. Um, it has, I can get Shellos or Buizel. So here's the question. Do I take the 205 Honey Tree or do I just get a guaranteed Shellos or Buizel? Cause we already have Bidoof and Pachirisu isn't obtainable. I feel like Shellos, so we can get Swift Swim. Um, what do you call this guy? Swift Swim Buizel which does get Aqua Jet, which is nice. But we also can get um, Storm Drain Shellos, which is crazy. Um, if we get a Storm Drain uh, Shellos, that's like absolutely enormous. I think we try and get the Storm Drain Shellos. I think we get a potential few encounters to catch this guy. Yeah, 218. 
Fuego Ironworks, 205 South. Yeah, there's like enough places where we can potentially encounter this guy where I'm like, you might just want to try and get this thing with Storm Drain because a Storm Drain Shellus would be busted. 65% chance. Come on, man. What is happening? What are we doing? We're trying to catch a Shellos. And so we're repel strats so that we can catch a Shellos. Yeah, I know. There's a there's a massive chance. If I I mean honestly, if I get to five, I'm just like taking it. Taking the risk. Oh. Did I was I supposed to use a repel? I was. But we have a Bidoof. Well, we already have a Bidoof, so like we can't get it. I say we just we just not repel strats. That's what I'm doing. Because this is ridiculous. I can't be wasting money like this. Jellos? Jellos! Okay. Okay, we're gonna leech seed. I like how as soon as we don't repel, we get it. Isn't that great? And we switch, so we get a little bit of chip on it. Bag, ooh, no, not bag, Pokemon. We check for Storm Drain by switching to Cerulean. Tank it. Let's go. Okay. That's super annoying. Now we need to hit through a bubble while it's getting leech seeded. Come on, dodge it. Cerulean, bud. Bloop. Six damage. How much do we heal? I feel like we just heal like a couple. Four. Well, that's fine. Okay, come on. Hit through confusion. Cerulean, bud. You can harden all you want. I can't believe this is happening right now. This is going to take forever. I just need to check if I can even... If I even want to catch this. That's the annoying part. Thank you. Okay, it's not Storm Drain. Which is annoying. Which means we run away. It just means the held item cannot be taken. Which is not very good. That's our Route 205 encounter. So the reason why we ran is because we were checking for Storm Drain, which basically makes it immune to water attacks. In double battles, all water attacks target it. So like if it's targeting your opponent, it hits you instead. And then it raises your special attack by a, a stage, two stages. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, we're just going to basically re-roll that encounter for 205. We're just going to try and get a shells for Storm Drain later. That's all we're going to do. So that's the play. That's why we actively try and like why we were why we were checking for that encounter. So, and I'm not even gonna check that one because it's just gonna make me sad. Probably. We're gonna yeah we're gonna repel our way through here and we're gonna delay our a turn of forest encounter until after the gym. That way we get cut, can get in the old chateau, get into uh, get that ghastly, and then we can come here and we can guarantee ourselves a Beniri. Um, and so that's the play. That's what we're doing, and that's how we're doing it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're gonna go do a turn of forest. We're gonna go to la, 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 la. platinum. Oh yeah, we just got a lot of bugs, a lot of bug catchers. So I think we're just gonna. Hope and flint. Let's go through a turn of forest. Here we go. Also, it's like a bunch of dumble battle, dumb dumble battles, double battles. So that's fun. That's a fun little interesting twist. Jack and Brianna. Oh my gosh, there's Pachirisu. I need to switch immediately. 
Not risking that. Nope, nope, nope. That's level 16 Pachirisu. Okay. Get wrecked. Die, Wurmpole. Don't poison me. Cool. Alright, um, we're gonna rock tomb the Pachirisu. This that Pachirisu can now only hit Cheryl. God, that is not a good rock tomb animation. Rock Tomb one more time. Can always outspeed with Quick Attack, I suppose, if it wants, but... Nice crit. Should now be slower than us. Or for pretty much all of our guys, I'd imagine. Gen 3 Rock Tomb is a boom, boom, boom. And then a, the big X in the middle. That's the one. I miss it compared to whatever this is. Because this is not very good. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oko. Oh, wow. So defensive. Oh, it's got charm? Oh, thank God it's not me. Okay. Almost there. Man, Flint is just... Flint is just killing the game. Kill the... Oh, wow. Come on. Hit it. Thank you. That was going to take forever if I didn't kill that. <laughs> Oh, there's a beautiful eye coming up. There's a beautiful eye coming up. Oh, wow. Chansey just got wrecked. Dude, this Chansey is not helping. <laughs> it's like present, and it's really taken hits like you'd want it to, but boy. Okay, so do not hit the Pachirisu. Oh my god, it has absorb. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. It crit us! What? Um. Okay. That's bad. Um. I think we switch into Brandeis first. So the Pachirisu's female, so it hitting us is not going to be a big deal. That being said, the Beautifly is definitely a problem. Um, and so we're going to spark it down because it's flying. I know, freaking Flint. Ugh. With the crit. That would almost certainly have not killed otherwise. This is like a Beautifly. <laughs> Granted, it is a stage three. And my special defense is lower. But like... Nice. Paralyze. Thank you. Nice. With the Unleashed Energy, that doesn't matter. We got Beautifly down. Screw you, Blue Beautifly. You killed my Flint. Mm. I am super not happy about that. Flint is genuinely good. Oh, what am I sparking? Bite. Ugh. Ugh. I don't, didn't like to see that. Did not like to see that. Flint. My friend, I'm sorry. We must retreat. Good lord. Uh, well. Flint. 
You were on our team for a short time. I'm sorry I didn't take better care of you, and I'm really sorry you got crit killed by a beautiful eye using Absorb. That is a way to go. So, off to Valhalla with you, my friend. Stay safe. Okay. We got a Meditite and an Abra. That's what we got here. Ooh, shoot. I gotta remember that. How defensive... Okay, I need to consider each of these guys separately, because they send them both out at the same time. Ooh, the defense is... This thing is a piece of paper. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we lead with Brandeis and then switch into Taupe. Ready? Here we go. We should have just faced these one at a time. What am I doing? How did I do that? I just made this harder for no reason. Elijah. Oh wait, it's two Abras. They both just have hidden powder. Oh, I'm glad I started with this guy then. Okay, bite. The Abra. I have no idea what types of hidden power these are. Uh-oh. Oh, do not double up into me, I swear to God. Oh no, I just died. Guys! What is this? What is this? What is happening? Okay. Hold on, now I have to think. What hidden power is this? Can I see on... This was a potential multi-battle. I didn't have to do that. <sighs> okay, I need to figure out what hidden power hidden power these. Wait, is hidden power the one where it's a hidden power is the one where it's just like a yeah. Okay, so it's a, it's a type that's neutral to electric, which is only a lot of them. So it's potentially normal, fire, ice, fighting, poison. Or sorry, hold on, I'm doing this on the wrong table. Oh my god, that's like all of them. Ugh. Okay, it's a special attack. Spe Hidden power is special, right? Yeah, it's special, so I need something who's specially defensive. How fast are these things? 90? Dog. Twenty. Twenty-five. That is specially defensive, but if it's psychic, then that's very bad. Twenty-two, twenty. I think we do... Peru has headbutt. Well, actually, hold on. Let's, let's, let's think about this a little bit longer. Because it's definitely... So it's not electric, it's not ground, and it's not flying. Um... And since water is only weak to electric or grass, it's probably best to try and send in Cerulean first. Uh, hold on. Um, Pokemon. Summary. Check moves. Pound. This is 100%. Okay. Do not send it into me, please. Come on. Come on. Not good. Okay. Come on. Okay. It, sent, it switched it up at least. That was a crit too, by the way. <sighs> Useless crit. Thanks for that.
Hound doesn't even kill. God, this thing sucks. <laughs> Come on. Okay, perfect. Nice crit. Oh, man, come on. Why did I do... Oh, I didn't need to face them. Oh, thank God it gets a better move. Oh, gosh. Two deaths. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm so mad at myself right now. That was, a, like, a careless mistake. Does not bode well. Also, that was an electric type, man! Brandice! I, I was a fool to lose you, and I hope I do not regret it. I salute you, thank you for your service. I'm sorry you got double hidden powered into and you got wrecked by a couple of Abras. Triggered. I am triggered. The tilt is real. Okay, Mount Coronet. Let's get this item. I just realized you can find items in there. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> or find Pokemon in there. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. Our... Encounter in the cave. These guys... I don't... I think it's just afternoon. So I think it's just... Oh my god, I can potentially find a... Oh, that's in the other game. Okay, that's fine. Here we go! Zubat! You know what that means, folks? That means a couple things. That means we get a guaranteed Bronzor in the Wayward Cave because we caught Geodude, Onyx, and now Zubat. Or hopefully we catch Zubat. I shouldn't have said anything. I've made a huge mistake. Stun Spore. Zubat has been caught. All right, folks. Nicknames. Give me nicknames for the Zubat. Reminder, the nickname theme is Colors. That the Zubat, or colors the Zubat remind you of. Lavender it is, Shadow. I like it. So now we gotta go check out that in the PC, but before we do that, we get another encounter at Route 211. Our Route 211 encounter is not Machop, because we already have one of those. I like Loki would be okay with Meditite or Chingling here. Um, both of those would probably be better than Bronzor because we have a guaranteed Bronzor later. I wonder if that means we delay this. Do we really? I mean, yeah, we kind of need this. Meditite it is. Come on, baby. One, two, three. Got him. Meditite. Welcome to the squad. I'm seeing sky blue from cheese. Works for me. Okay. All right, let's check out our lavender. I, yeah, at most a gibble for sure. All right, we got our Lavender Brave, which is what? I'm pretty sure it's plus, it, plus attack minus speed. Um, okay. Not, pretty sure this thing is, oh, it's not as fast as you'd think it would be. And its attack isn't that good. <laughs> okay, uh, well. And it is prevented from flinching, so I'll take that at least. That's nice. Oh, it only that's all it can have. <laughs> well. Um Meditite. Whoa, this thing has pure power? No shit. Yeah, pure power. Boost the power of physical attacks. There's gotta be a drawback from that, right? 
This Pokemon at attack stat is doubled. That's what Metatite's ability is? That's busted! I mean, its attack's not that high. But I guess... I mean... Okay. Does it get a... It does not get a psychic physical move before the gym. Oh, because also all it learns is frickin' special moves. Ugh, ugh, ugh. All right, that's all we got for this week. We'll be back next week where we will actually take on Gym 2, and we will also um, take on take on Gym 2 and... Why did that go so low? Oh, my God. Gym 2, we got a galactic fight. We got some more encounters, and then we're just on our way to Gym 3, y'all. We're doing it. Um, it was quite a bit of a tilt today, so let's not... I'll try not to repeat it next week, but... All right. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you all. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will talk to you next time. Adios. Bye-bye.